All right, in my repository, you can see I have a couple of repositories, but I've used organizations to more easily have my repositories grouped. And in the lower corner, you can see the groupings that I've done, iOS, Android, some Java, and Python. So let's click on that one. So all my repositories for Python will be in this specific organization. And this just makes it easier to have the source code in a primary location for that type of development. Okay, let's click on my profile and then click manage organizations and new organization. We're gonna use the one that doesn't have any cost because uh, I don't have a large group, it's just me. Then I'm gonna give a name to that organization and you have to put a contact email. I'm gonna put the same as my primary GitHub account. And I'm also gonna change that name. I spelled it incorrectly, so let's do digital media. And then this is gonna to belong to my personal account and click next. And it's been created and it's going to allow you to invite members if you wanted to. It's just me, so I'm going to skip this step. And here's the organization. So with the organization created, it is empty, meaning I have no repositories, but that's okay. I can transfer some of my existing repositories over to this one for easier grouping. So I'm going to go to my uh, digital media, well, my multimedia repository. I'm then going to go to settings and I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And I'm going to click the transfer button. This is gonna transfer from my primary GitHub account to the organization that I've set up. Uh, what I need to do is enter the name of the current repository and then the name of the user or organization, in this case, digital media, that I'm transferring it to. Um, I verify my login credentials and now it has been transferred over to my organization. And I can navigate over there and I will see the repository underneath the digital media organization that I have created. And now we can see our repository is in our new organization. And even though I've transferred it, I still have the history of all the commits that were done in the past. So you don't lose that information and the activity of this repository. And now to confirm that the transfer has been completed successfully, I can also go to my primary account. If I look at my repositories, I will see that the multimedia repo is no longer listed. And that's how you create a new organization and successfully transfer a repository.